Oh, it brings back fond memories for me. Joining me now is a showbiz columnist, Martel Maxwell. Good to have you on the programme today. I mean, everyone in the office has been talking about this. What did you make of seeing them back together? Well, it does matter because we are all talking about it, but there's a lot of cynicism around the Spice Girls. Um, I'd love to sit here and see everyone's really excited about it, but there is a feeling they're A, in it for themselves. Apart from Posh, it was really cringeworthy. Four girls. Victoria just looked like she didn't want to be there. Perhaps there'd been some sort of spat behind the scenes. Who knows? Because they all really, really wanted to do the Jubilee concert, apart from Victoria. Now, there we see Jerry. It has been a long time, hasn't it? And let's face it, her life is, well, her lifestyle is very different from the rest of theirs, isn't it? Absolutely. They're not best mates. That was clearly evident through the body language. Um, and she has gone on to do so well. Again, there was a lot of you'll never break it in, into the fashion industry. She and did do it, proved everyone wrong. The other girls haven't really had great success as solo singers. I interviewed Mel C loads of times when she was as a solo star, and she always felt that she could never really get out the shadows off the Spice Girls. Um, but here we are. The, the, in my opinion, the Jubilee was the perfect opportunity. Because so why didn't they get to together? Because it would have looked great, wouldn't it? So who said no? Victoria. Um, and do we know why? Well, Mel C was tweeting saying we should be involved in this when the Jubilee was going on and Victoria was just incredibly busy. I don't think the public reception to the Spice Girls reunion is overwhelming when they did it in 2007. Yeah, kind of sold out, but mm. it wasn't like a take that phenomenon. Um, and I think we have to realise that that was their one time. They've missed it, but they're going to be earning a fortune from this musical. Do you think it will be successful then? I think it should be successful because you've got Jennifer Saunders writing, the woman who's behind Mamma Mia. It should be a license to print money. I just don't know if the public feeling's there enough um, for them to really get behind the sports girls as, say, people did um, ABBA. A, a lot of cynics will say, well, do they have the back catalogue? Let's not forget the Spice Girls have nine number ones in the UK alone, 75 million albums worldwide. They have enough for it to go on, but I, I, um, she would have done anything to get fame, <laughs> and she's admitted that. I think they were all, they are all seen as being very lucky, right time, right place. None of them had amazing talent, and perhaps what, that's why the public perception is. You had your 15 minutes, maybe don't milk it. Uh, and they talked a lot about girl power today, and yet a lot of young girls won't even know who the Spice Girls are. Do you think that's a bit dead and buried now? It could be dead and buried. I think the way to get into the hearts of young girls, A, through their mums. A lot of mums take their kids to go and see Take That, and it rolls on that way. But they need to have more humour, stop taking themselves so seriously. Jerry dress up in the Union Jack, and the kids should love it. Thank you very much. And are you going to go and say it very quickly? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll come with you. Martel, <laughs> as ever, great to see you. Uh, that is it from us. Charles got the weather next. Polly has news updates throughout the evening as she's here just before 8 o'clock and then again at 9 p.m. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the same time tomorrow night. Bye-bye.